our chef. Okay, let's go. The sort of food that I cook is inspired by my Turkish secret heritage, so I guess I like to call it modern Turkish. Both my parents were born in uh, North Cyprus and they came over here uh, to London when they were young. I was born and brought up here. Just grew up on Turkish cooking and um, things as you would. One of the ways that I really got into cooking was sort of by watching loads of cooking programmes from literally about 11 years old. Don't know why, just got into it. And especially actually watching Ready Steady Cook, which was on at the time. A big focus of Ready Steady Cook was always they would show you how to fill up the fish or how to, um, how to chop an onion or whatever it may be. And I just used to watch it so much. I wasn't perfect at it by any means, but I had a good understanding of how things, um, how you should do them. But when I went to college, you know, one of the first things that we did was chop an onion. And I remember being picked out as one of the good ones that could do it. <laughs> so then I was like, oh, maybe I'm going to be okay at this. <laughs> In 19, when I went to Westminster King's Bay College to do professional chef, chef diploma, it was very classical French cooking, and so that's what I started to learn, and then slowly started taking an interest about food from um, all over the world, and, and so I was completely away from Turkish food, actually. And then it was probably about once I've been cooking professionally, and including college, for five or six years, I sort of came back to it and really started to think about it and was like, actually, this is the sort of food that I love to eat. My first job, I was very fortunate, uh, was working with Pete Gordon at The Provodors. Yeah, Provodors was, was incredible, like such an eye plan to be able to see um, all these ingredients from all over the world and how you can balance the flavours. And, and I think that's really given me you know, for me now, when I create dishes, I'm looking for sweet, salty, sour, different, the, all the different levels of uh, you know, the, the taste that you get in your mouth. And for me, if, if it doesn't have all of those, you know, and the textures and everything, then I, it doesn't feel like a complete dish to me. I think it's only really been in the last three, four years that I've really thought to myself, um, I'm going to have my own restaurant. And I remember thinking how I really love food that's cooked over charcoal and, and wood and stuff and, and those natural flavours that it gives. And I remember from quite a young age thinking, I'm going to have a restaurant one day where I'm going to cook everything over charcoal. And at that point, other than sort of kebab shops, it wasn't really happening at all. And then in the last, like, probably two years, especially in the last year, it's just gone like crazy and everyone's now opening these like wood grills and cooking over charcoal. So it's making me think more and more like I need to get in quickly because I had this idea like 10 years ago and now everyone's doing it. <laughs>